So let's start with trying to use the calculation field to calculate the average price of goods sold per city. So open the file we've worked with previously. It is attached to the lecture and it's called sales density analysis five average item price empty and go to sales by store. Here we've got the data as in the previous examples by cities where we show how much they sold in quantity, what was the net sale, front margin, COG, so cost of, cost of goods sold, what is the space of each and every store, sales density calculated for this store, then we have um, type of location and type of format. Each and every row it's just uh, the sales of a specific store within a specific year. So let's try to make a pivot out of this. So we press inset and then pivot table. And we said that we want to do the average price. So there are two ways to do it. The first way is just to use what we've got. So the CT net sales and then quantity sales. Let's format it a little bit so it looks a little bit nicer. So we can use the previously introduced option. So just to calculate outside the pivot table what, we, what I want. The average price will be just the division of the column B by column C. So we do B4 divided by C4. And let's format it with two digits after decimal. And in this way, we get that the average prices are in this column. The other option is to use the calculation field. So let's try to do it as well. I'll just put here one column so the previous calculation we've got here does not disappear. So the calculation field we enter by going to the pivot table um, menu and then analyze. And in analyze you will have field items sets. You press calculated field and it opens you a box. We start by naming what we want to get. So we want to get average price item. And here he shows you all the columns, all the variables. And we simply show him exactly as we did in the regular Excel calculations what we want to do. So we want to take the net sales and divide it. So we put the divide sign here, uh, quantitative sales in pieces. We add it and in this way we get the calculations differ a little bit because we have a different formatting. So let's format it in the same way. So as you can see, we got exactly the same calculations using the direct calculations in pivot tables. The good thing about the calculation fields in the pivot tables directly is that he is creating a variable without altering the original table. So as you can see here in the pivot table fields, I've got average price item, which was added and I can actually remove it if I don't need it, add it back. So this is the good thing about the pivot tables calculated fields that I can create a calculation, keep them within the pivot tables or remove them if I don't need it. In the next lecture, I will show you another example of this and later on I will discuss how to modify this sort of calculations.